When Apple launched the iPod Classic in 2001, it revolutionized the way we listen to music. Imagine carrying a thousand songs in your pocket, all neatly organized in a sleek, minimalistic design. Boom. That's iPod. I happen to have one right here in my pocket, in fact. This amazing little device holds a thousand songs, and it goes right in my pocket. The device was a game changer with its intuitive scroll wheel that let you navigate your entire music library with just a twist of your thumb. The iPod Classic wasn't just a device. It was a status symbol. Even the earbuds were iconic. The experience was really unlike any other. This is where my journey started. I got my first iPod as a hand-me-down for my sister, and right away I jumped on the opportunity to build out my own music library and my own music taste. But like any other technology, I eventually moved on and forgot about it until one day I was scrolling through Twitter back in 2019. I saw a tweet from this guy named Elvin. He actually created an app to replicate the legendary iPod Classic functionality. The nostalgia got me and I wanted to use this right away. I followed his journey, but he was never able to get his app on the App Store due to Apple trying to protect their intellectual property. So I decided to try to build it myself. At this point in time, there was a new feature on the iPhone where you could add a web page to your home screen that would look like an app. My idea was to make a website that you could pull up on your phone and use like an iPod. However, at the time, I wasn't that great at coding and I never got too far. You're trash! I actually even tried to start back up my old React.js project and it wouldn't even run. I think the Node version was too old. And after that pathetic attempt at recreating the iPod, I noticed that some other people had already succeeded, like the website Tannerv.com. So I gave up and never looked back. Fast forward five years to 2024 and the iPod has made a resurgence. People are buying old iPods and modding them with new batteries, hard drives, and shells. Even I ended up modding my own. And it's actually not that difficult, I'll get into that in another video. But all this reignited the fire inside me and I wanted to build this for real this time. Now I had 4 years of software engineering experience under my belt and I knew I could make this work. Earlier this year I made my first Swift app and that was enough to get me rolling. I spent a few weeks of trial and error trying to get all the features working smoothly. Initially, I wanted the app to work with Spotify, but I honestly couldn't get it working at all. So I ended up moving to Apple Music. I still plan to support Spotify eventually, but we'll see when that happens. Introducing Scroll Jam. The app lets you seamlessly connect to the Apple Music library and enjoy your playlists and albums in a way that feels just like the old days, but with a fresh and intuitive design. With Scroll Jam, you'll get the satisfying scroll experience, letting you glide through your music one song at a time. I even added haptic feedback to the scroll to make the experience even more modern. Some other features include scrubbing and also shuffle. My idea behind the design is I truly want to get this on the App Store. So I didn't make it look one to one like the iPod Classic. I give it its own look so it can be a standalone thing. And hopefully not infringing on any Apple copyrights. I'll link the test fight beta link in the description below. Feel free to try it out and give me any feedback. I want to clean up some functionality before I submit it to the App Store officially, and would love your support to try and get Apple to approve this. Hopefully we can finally make my dream come true and get this into everyone's hands. That's all I got, like and subscribe for more and I'll see you later. Deuces.